is what you're made of You are perfect and pure Even if you're not sure It's what you're made of L-O-V-E, love Just beautiful, guys. Thank you so much. Isn't that a beautiful song? The sentiment in that song, it's just amazing. We're, we're building a house for this family on a cornerstone of love. Amen, Amen huh? Amazing. Amazing. What a great song. And, and thank you for the, the way that you play it with such feeling and such love. So today's message is welcome home. Welcome home. Not just your spiritual home, but welcome home. Not just your spiritual home on earth, but welcome home to the spiritual home within you. That's what we're going to be talking about. Both of those things today, because lining that up is where the balance happens in our life. We're lining up heaven and earth. We're bringing heaven to earth. When we're just focused on what's happening here and we're trying to manipulate it and, and, and fight to manifest what we want, you know, we're forgetting the source of where all that happens. And so we're, we're attempting to solve a problem with the same level of consciousness that created it. And what we want to do today is lift our consciousness, is raise our consciousness so that we're approaching everything from a new place. And we know that spirit is always guiding us in that place, that we're not going from our limited understanding, but from our unlimited faith. Write that one down. I am not operating from my limited understanding, but from my unlimited faith. Put it, write it down, make a bumper sticker, put it on your refrigerator. Whatever you want to do, this is what we're talking about today. It's impossible to count how many times people have expressed to me when they've attended their first unity service, the first unity church or spiritual center, as a feeling of coming home. I just feel like I'm home. This is what I've been thinking and believing and and practicing in my life. And now I've met all you folks. And we created this energy field that we can walk into. And when you walk into it, you go, wow, I'm home. I've, I've heard this so many times, and I'm so grateful for each of you that have finally found uh, your spiritual home. They say, it's, it just feels like home. I, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels like I've come home. I didn't feel it the first time I walked in here. Sorry, guys. They were, they were in transition at the time. But Lily did. And I always trust Lily's uh, clairvoyance. I always trust her visions, and I trust her, her inner feeling. I always do because I can't always see it from my limited understanding, but from my unlimited faith, I will see it and experience it. So the first time I really actually felt it was when I went to Unity Village. (laughs) That's when I knew, okay, I am home. And home is not a place on earth. It's an energy field that's created by the affirmative prayer of the divinity within us. And they've been praying this way and practicing this for over 130 years. And at Unity Village, they they have silent unity there. There's a cupola up on the above silent unity with a light that burns 24-7. It's been burning for over 100 years. And I, I just knew from that energy field that I was home, that unity was... I always wanted to be a unity minister. I was too busy going around the world teaching A Course in Miracles. But finally, when I... And this is how I came... Welcome home. This is how I came home to, to Cape Cod as well. Uh, it was, we were in Wisconsin, and Lily had a vision and a meditation. We were moving out of Wisconsin. We didn't know where we were going. We, we could go anywhere in the world, and we were looking at all the places, maybe Portugal... Maybe Colombia, Ecuador, Argentina, South Carolina, (laughs) California, Mexico, Canada. That was too cold. We just came from Wisconsin. (laughs) So she came home one day and she said, we're we're moving to Cape Cod. 
I said, really? She said, yeah, I just saw it so clearly in, our, in the meditation. I said, great, okay, let's go. And I had no idea what was going to happen when we got here. But I knew that, that feeling of home, and I, and I knew that's where I wanted to be. And so Lily, start, she felt it the first time. And, and I certainly did and feel that way now, and I, and I felt it when I went to Unity Village for the first time. And I believe it's because we often experience that overwhelming feeling of acceptance, celebration of who we are. Home is finding a, a community of equals. Let's, let's put it up on screen if I can do that. Maybe. <laughs> this is it. I believe home is often an experience of that overwhelming feeling of acceptance, celebration of who you are. Not just Oh, we tolerate you. We celebrate you. We don't just tolerate you. We tolerate Jack. (laughs) Now we celebrate you too. (laughs) And we tolerate you. That's right. (laughs) Oh, thank you. Had that one coming. But the next thing is finding a home of equals in search of spiritual truth together. It's coming. It's the next slide. Maybe. Okay, but this is what we're doing. We're finding a spiritual home together instead of stagnant worship of a God outside of us. An idol. An idea, an image of God. Something that's outside of you. No, we're discovering truth together. As a community of equals, we're all equal human beings. We all have an equal amount of God within us. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I love that guy. We all have an equal amount of God within us. And so... We're not following some ancient doctrine that doesn't really fit our present experience. Whatever it might be, when the search is over for your spiritual home, you know it, without a doubt. Deep in your soul, you know it. I'm home. But there's even a deeper feeling that goes along with that. One of coming home to spirit, coming home to God, coming home to love, coming home to peace. Just dwelling in that peace, coming home to peace. Oh, yeah, we couldn't miss this slide. (laughs) This is when we all went on the boat with Michael. Uh, This is great. Is that a community of equals or not? Look at that. We're all in search of something. (laughs) Maybe we'll find it on the boat. Michael, he he does the, the tour, the Hyannis Harbor tour. And he's the MC, what do you call it? Narrator. The tour guide. Narrator. Yeah. Narrator. It's great. And he's telling jokes, and it's, it's so fun. Uh, you gotta, you got to go and um, see him out of context here, over in that context. Because he's still bringing the light, and he's still searching for the truth. Uh, but it's a whole different context. And we all showed up that day for the, for the tour. I love it. That looks like a nice group of people to me. <laughs> I'd hang out with those folks. Okay, next. Okay. They're, they're, moving, me, they're moving me forward here <laughs> with the slides. All right. So we say welcome home. But what does that mean? It's usually, it means a place where you live, right? The place where you have made your abode, your, your house, your home. The place you come to take your rest at night, but... Also, your starting point each day to go out into the world. So from Webster's Dictionary, it could be the place where one permanently lives, especially as a member of a family or household. It could be a family or social unit occupying a permanent residence. It's also the location, a district or county or town, or uh, I call uh, Cape Cod my home. Whenever I see the ocean, I think I'm home. 
Doesn't matter where, what ocean it is, by the way. It's all the same water. Or it could be a place where something flourishes. I like that one. Or most, is most typically found from where it originates. And, and I like to take that one. Coupled with the part about being in a family or social unit, and then explain it metaphysically. To me, that's getting closer to the idea of home. Home, metaphysically speaking, is another word for heaven, right? We've always said, I'm going home, you know. When my mom made her transition, she says, I'm going home, right? But... What if you're already home? What if you don't have to wait to go to heaven? That you're already there, you just aren't seeing it. Because you're manifesting a reality that's in front of your eyes, that's separate. You're manifesting a so-called reality that's not heaven. We call that hell. You look around the world. Look at all the wars that are happening. Look at the division, the hatred, and all that stuff that's happening. And what would you call that? It ain't ain't heaven, brother or sister. (laughs) It ain't heaven, says Dolores. (laughs) But what if heaven is still right here, right now? The minute we step away from all of that, we'll see it. The minute we stop participating in that, we'll feel it. The minute we stop giving that any of our energy or investing our time or our money or our attention on it and focus on the truth and on peace and on who we are, we will be it. The moment we focus on the truth of who we are, the Christ within, we will be it. We will bring heaven to earth because we're being heaven on earth. I would say heaven is a state of consciousness. It's not really a place. It's a state of consciousness in which we flourish. And it's most definitely the realm of creation where we originate. I love the idea You know, the meditation was brilliant today, James. It just flowed with the daily word of joy, and it flows with this message. Because beyond birth and death, there is an original, eternal substance that we are. And this is is the aim of, of spiritual practice, to get in touch with that original spiritual substance that you are, and to make that manifest in your life and to allow it to be manifest in your life through the grace of spirit. Remember, I'm I'm trusting now, not in my limited understanding, but in my unlimited faith. So I would hope that also this is the place where you're typically found. It's the place you originate. This is home. It's your state of mind, state of consciousness. And I would hope it's the place where you're hanging out most often in your mind, in your thoughts, and then in your conversations, and then in what you do in your deeds in life. Because then you can say, I'm home. And, I, and I'm bringing it with me wherever I go. I, we do that song by Jason Mraz. Uh, it's, what, what? No, the other one. Um, he says... Um, <laughs> no matter where I'm going, I'm already home. Peace in my heart, peace in my soul. Wherever I'm going, I'm already home. Wow. Wherever I'm going, I'm already home. Wow. We haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Jack can't remember that song. He's, a, he's brilliant, by the way. He's like a musical savant. When he picks it, no, really, when he picks up the guitar, his fingers remember the song. And then his brain remembers. And he's got it sometimes, almost always. He's got about a million songs in there. He's like a computer bank. He's like the hard drive. 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> Sometimes you have to reboot the hard drive, that's all. But no, it's amazing. It, it truly is. Uh, he starts playing a song uh, with his fingers, and then all of a sudden the whole thing starts happening. And there's a lot of songs in there. Thank you, Jack. <laughs> right here. So the cool thing is, wherever I'm going, I'm already home. I've got peace in my heart. I've got peace in my soul. Now I can go out in my day. I'm, I'm home already. I'm bringing that with me. I'm bringing that energy of being in heaven right here, right now. I love that. So manifesting the condition of heaven on earth can be considered the ultimate purpose of your soul. We've all come here to be an instrument of the divine. That's why we're here. Believe me, if heaven wasn't such a desirable place, why would so much effort and energy and emphasis been placed on it, on getting there, by all the religions of the world? All the religious traditions of the world have this idea of what you have to do to get to heaven, right? That's why unity is so radical. What if you're already in heaven? (laughs) What happens then? Oh my goodness. Now it's up to me to manifest heaven on earth. No, I'm not just living by the rules that some human being has made up. I'm living in spiritual consciousness and spiritual law. I'm living by principle. This is, this is, um, this is the problem of, of the human understanding, limited understanding, is that we, we want to make a place out of it. We want to get to heaven instead of thinking it's already here. I can experience it now. I'm going to get there. It's not a location that I can get to. See, what happens when you get a location called heaven? You also have a location called hell. Oh, now I got duality. Now I got fear, right? Now I'm going gonna, now I'm gonna to control you through fear. You don't want to go to hell, do you? You better listen to what I'm telling you. Now everybody's listening. Wow. <laughs> No, it's not like that. I totally got that growing up. And, and I totally got, um, finally, uh, it's not any fun, you know, being in fear. It's not any fun. This, this thing, you're going to go to hell. Well, I'm going to have fun now. You know, when I was a kid, I was like, okay, I'm going to hell anyway. <laughs> it's too late, right? It's too late. So I'll just do what I want. So that's the other side of it. You get a very destructive society that's just doing what it wants. Everybody wants that. They call that freedom. Freedom's not doing whatever you want. It's, it's the freedom, or the oppor- freedom is the opportunity to choose what is right. Freedom is an opportunity Amen. to choose what is right, not to do whatever you want. So we got it kind of mixed up and backwards. And, and I, I really feel like the idea that it's all happening now, that heaven is here now, it's not a location, it's not a place, but it's every, it can be every location and every place that you are. Peace in your heart, peace in your soul. Wherever you're going, you're already home. Yeah. So... If it's not a location, if it's not a condition, then what is it? What is heaven then? A great definition that I came across in my path is from A Course in Miracles, Lesson 169. Heaven is not a place or a condition, but it's an awareness of perfect oneness. An awareness of perfect oneness. Oneness. It's all part of you. When you're experiencing that, you are experiencing heaven. And it's the knowledge that there's nothing else. There's nothing outside of this oneness. Oh my goodness, that's incredible. Hell just disappeared. It's gone. Literally gone. 
And if you don't bring it with you, it won't be where you go. And so wherever you go will be heaven. You will bring heaven with you. And you will be the change agent in that situation. Whatever that condition may be, you will show up as the light of the world because you're bringing heaven with you. And in this feeling of oneness, I would like to add, there's an experience, a deep experience of belonging and the certainty and security of the soul. The soul is the one coming home. You're giving a home to your soul. You're not putting it aside in favor of your ego and having the two battle it out for the rest of your life. You are surrendering your ego to your soul. Ego in service to the soul. We read that in the five principles. That living in the divinity that's inherent within you is placing your ego in service to your soul. Your soul is coming home. Wow. I'm home. My soul is home. I'm home in heaven. I'm home in heaven with you because you're bringing me that vibration of heaven, of belonging, of worth. It, this comes with an experience of deep, a deep sense of worth that what you have to bring is not only worthy, it's God. It's part of God. It's the part of God that you bring that's unique to you and that we need. We all need to show up in our uniqueness and bring our unique expression of God to this place. And then that will come with you every place you go. It's not simply a sense of peace and tranquility, but it's also the freedom to grow and to evolve and to participate in your own spiritual evolution, evolution of your consciousness. You're participating, not just physically, not just socially, but you're participating in the evolution of humankind. This is the more important participation. You're participating in the spiritual, and I would say moral, evolution of humankind. So I certainly do not see home as a stagnant place of superficial comfort, but a dynamic flow of positive, creative, loving energy. It's outside of your comfort zone, always. It's always there. It's always on the edge. You're always moving. You're moving. You're flowing. You're growing. You're evolving. It's never stagnant. And it's more than comfort. It's exciting adventure. The comfort and the peace is knowing that heaven is here now. But the exciting adventure is manifesting that here now. Manifesting that when it doesn't seem possible. Manifesting that in your life when your ego wants to take over. Manifesting the Christ instead of your ego. So if you're feeling a sense of peace right now, if you're feeling empowered, if you're feeling a loving connection today, if you're feeling a deep sense of worth and belonging and awareness of that perfect oneness, all I can say to you is, I'm so glad you're here. Amen. Welcome home. You have been watching the message from our Sunday celebration service here at Unity on Cape Cod, providing a positive path for spiritual living. Please join us every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. at 147 Walton Ave, Hyannis Mass, and visit us online at unityoncapecod.org. This video was made possible in part through a grant from Unity Worldwide Ministries and the Templeton Foundation.